In today's video, I wanna highlight a great little accessory for your Sony FX6, FX3, A7S III, or really any other camera that gives you some of the benefits of a camera cage for a fraction of the cost. Let's dive in. I wanted to start this video with a quick little story about one of my previous cameras, the Canon C200, because I think it encapsulates an important point about camera cages. When I purchased it, knowing I was mainly gonna be using it for corporate shoots, I also wanted a camera cage too. Not wanting to compromise on quality, I ended up with a bright tangerine left field, which cost me over a thousand Australian dollars. The cage was great quality, and I loved the fact it had these three eighth inch holes with locating pins, so I could easily attach my external monitor with confidence. Plus this top handle, which was so much more robust than the plastic top handle that came included with the camera. But this cage also added a lot of weight to my C200, and it made the setup much less run and gun. Sure, it helped me add some accessories, and I did need it, but when I sold the camera, that cage went for less than half the cost than what I purchased it at. So it also wasn't a great long-term investment. Now to be clear, I'm not against camera cages. They're a necessary accessory if you're rigging up your camera with monitors, transmitters, battery mounts, and so on. And that C200 cage was very useful over my camera's life. But depending on the use case of your camera, they're not always required or that helpful. Sometimes the main purpose they serve is just to act as some extra protection or to make your setup look beefier which may sadly and honestly help you with client perception of how professional your setup is. But the FX6 is a highly versatile camera with a big selling point of it being how small and light it is. So this time around, I had much more hesitation around buying a camera cage. I've spent a lot of time wondering whether to buy the Tilter FX6 cage, which is amazing value coming in at 439 Australian dollars compared to Bright Tangerine's offerings but I still can't commit to it for a few reasons. Number one is the FX6 customization is a little limited in the sense that your top handle is also your audio inputs. If you want to put a metal top handle on it instead, you'd lose access to those two XLR ports. So most camera cages work around this by supplying a piece of metal that goes around the handle with mounting points instead. The only thing with this is the FX6 actually already has many mounting points around the body and handle. So unless you need something more like 3 8 inch with a locking pin mount, which honestly I would love, but it's a nice to have, you can get away with just the base FX6. The second point is a big selling point of the Tilter cage is the battery plate, which attaches a dummy battery to FX6 and gives you either a V or A mount battery plate. Again, depending on how you use your FX6, this is a great option to use these batteries. But the FX6 also has great battery life with the stock batteries and now with my new IDX SBU98, I'm even able to take a D-tab out and power my Atoms monitor at the same time. And given these batteries are about $400 each, two of them plus a dual charger gets you under $1,000 for mostly all day recording time. Having said that, if you often power more accessories on your camera, like a wireless transmitter, again, a V or A mount solution makes sense. And potentially once I get some video transmitters down the line, I'll finally make that investment but right now I've loved keeping my setup lightweight. The last point I wanted to make is that buying a camera cage is also a specific investment to your particular camera. Whereas I love buying accessories that are universal and work across multiple cameras. This not only means more flexibility now, but it means when you sell your camera down the line, you can keep these accessories for the next. Don't do what I did and buy an expensive cage unless you really love it, because most likely the resale value of such a niche item isn't gonna be amazing at least in my experience here in Melbourne, where the market's a little bit more limited. Okay, so that's my reason for not getting a camera cage, but what's this accessory? The Small Rig Universal Base Plate is a $20 accessory that goes onto any camera like the FX6. With the Small Rig carbon fiber rods I purchased for my Canon C200 setup, I'm now able to add accessories like a follow focus, battery plate, or map box. All of this for around 50 Australian dollars, compared to 439. The plate itself is made of metal and includes two screws which can be used to properly attach to cameras like the FX6 with the second locating screw preventing the plate from turning and you can have total freedom on your choice of the length of rods. Just make sure to tighten it a fair amount because I did have an issue where that 3 8 inch pin actually came undone and let the camera slide left to right on the plate. Now, as I discussed previously, if you want to use accessories that have a 3 8 inch locking pin or you want an Ari style rosette in order to attach handles or you just prefer a cleaner battery mount option that actually utilizes your camera's battery compartment to save space, a camera cage might be a worthwhile investment. But otherwise, this $50 combo can be used across multiple cameras, doesn't add much weight, and overall provides you a lot of flexibility. So is this better than a tilter cage? The short answer is no. The tilter cage has more flexibility with its two best features for me being that battery mount that attaches to the FX6's battery compartment and a wireless transmitter mount, which is great for attaching your Holyland, Teradek, whatever it may be. 
But of course, a lot of how you rig your camera is gonna come down to personal preference. There's no right answer, and it's all about making your setup work for you. The point I'm trying to make here is that for $50, you have a very universal solution for not only your FX6, but also your A7S 3 or Canon R5 or Red Komodo if you'd like to use a manual focus lens with a follow focus or a V-mount setup with a dummy battery. You can choose the length of rods that suits you for your purpose and a really big one for me that it's fairly easy to take on and off when you don't need it. That's a big bonus too because I remember with my Canon C200 cage, I always had to make sure to have the right Allen key with me and taking off the whole cage did take quite a few minutes and making sure I didn't lose all the screws. Camera cages are great and I love that we have so many options these days to find a solution that suits us best. But sometimes the best solutions don't have to be the coolest, almost high tech, and they shouldn't always cost the most amount of money too. This is just another path you can take to make your FX6 or any other camera for that matter, work for you. This video also is me declaring I'll never buy a camera cage because my needs may change in the future. This is just a stopgap in the meantime and a cool little idea I wanted to share with you all. Thanks for watching and I hope you all enjoyed the video. Let me know what solution you're using down below in the comments. Make sure to like and subscribe if you're enjoying the content and I'll see you all in the next video.